it's Joshua. I just wanted to talk to you about um, building your BBSHD into um, and in line with an internally geared hub and the need for a chain tensioner. So here you see the SXRK3 by Sturmy Archer. So it's the internally geared three speed fat bike specific 36 hole uh, internally geared hub. So on my uh, my bike for towing, it's going to have a big uh, two-wheel drive a Crystal Light motor on the front with a 52-volt uh, battery, and this will be set up with a proportional regen. So I wanted something super tough and strong so uh, and simple, low maintenance, so it's a three-speed internally geared hub. So with um, vertical dropouts, you will need a chain tensioner of some sort. I'm going to show you why. Uh, in this video. So with horizontal dropouts, as you can see uh, here with my uh, my road bike, it's my gro little grocery getter uh, single speed fixie. It, like 99% of all fixies um, and old style road bikes, they have horizontal dropouts. So you simply slide the rear wheel back until the chain is just under taut and then you tighten the wheel. No need for a chain tensioner. However, with a vertical dropout, you don't have uh, the luxury of sliding your wheel back. It just goes in. You will need a chain tensioner. Um, so you see on this style of bikes, uh, either a Super 73 or a Coast Cycles or a Fatty Cycle, um, you see often a rear hub motor. But with a big mid-drive, you can get rid of the derailleur and just use the internally geared hub. So you will need a chain tensioner. Now most, what they do is push down. So most push down, but what you're gonna run into is you're gonna, you're going to, if you have a chain tensioner pushing down, you're taking chain off of the teeth. You, while you want, especially when you're running a thousand or or more uh, watts through your motor, you want chain wrap as much as possible. So you want chain wrap to hug as many teeth as possible. So you see on the first generation of the Super 73, they have a chain tensioner, a very nice one. The th it's not the thought that counts in this case though. It's pushing down, taking chain off of teeth, while you want one pushing up, putting chain on to teeth because with a thousand watts or more, you will gnaw off those teeth before you get back from the grocery store. So that's how strong some of these motors is, are. If you skip this chain over these teeth, you will gnaw those things down to nubs. So you want more chain wrap as opposed to less. So I'm having uh, my wheel builder, who's a uh, a genius with bikes. He's building me a custom made chain reverse chain tensioner that's going to push up as opposed to pushing down. And it has to clear this big 28 tooth cog. So usually a chain tensioner this size, pretty standard, would be enough to add more chain wrap, but I'll need one that pushes further up and further forward. So we're making that just in a few days, which I'll follow up with another video. In case you want to fit with, to complement your BBSHD, a Sturmy Archer SX RK3 fat bike specific hub. So again, you want more chain wrap as opposed to less if you want a nice, long-running, healthy drivetrain.